It has long been known that women who had therapeutic radiation in childhood or young adulthood had an increased risk of breast cancer, as long as the radiation included the chest. Often these were Hodgkin's disease survivors, and there are many of them now. Also women who had radiation for other reasons, their risks have been increased. There are more aggressive surveillance programs for them. Um, and most of their tumors were ER positive. So the question was whether tamoxifen could be a helpful risk-reducing agent for them. But there was a lot of resistance to using full-dose tamoxifen. And so, like Dr. Desenzi in Milan, who published his trial in women with DCIS and atypical hyperplasia, in another high-risk group, this time women who were survivors of childhood or adolescent radiation, um, we tried low-dose tamoxifen, five milligrams. This was not a randomized trial. This was a single arm trial, but the uh, drug did show uh, a reduction in mammographic density, which is a typical frequently used um, biomarker endpoint for a drug like tamoxifen. Uh, so it is not definitive data that tamoxifen will reduce risk in these women at risk because of their radiation exposure. And it is not clear it's only five milligrams that that will be the eff final effective dose. But it is certainly enough data to make us want to do a definitive trial in cancer survivors. And you know, not only are there more adult cancer survivors, but fortunately there are also more childhood cancer survivors. And for women, who, even women who have had uh, potentially women who might have had a unilateral breast cancer at a young age and had radiation as part of their treatment, this would be a way to think about reducing risk to the contralateral breast if they're not already receiving hormonal therapy. But the main goal is for women who are survivors of treatment of other illnesses like Hodgkin's disease, who presumably have a long future and would like to avoid breast cancer.